All right, here we are out here, gonna work on some more bikes, trying to figure out something cool that I can work on. Just stuck in the snow out here and working mostly on customer bikes lately. And I have this bike that's been long neglected. This is a 1962 Sportster XLR, XLR TT. I don't know, it's a mystery bike. Sportster chassis, normal frame, original paint, 62. Um, tank, fender, aluminum rear fender. Original paint inside the aluminum fender. And then this is a normal frame, but 1961 date code. I believe what you see here was born together. That this was just like this. I have a hard time believing that somebody added that fender with that blue paint on the inside. Nobody would have ever done that just to strip it off. I don't know, but it's a little bit of a mystery. Really, really cool bike, race shocks, old decals, race seat, race triple tree, top nuts. I never got an engine with this, so it's a mystery. And the guy that I got it from, he thought it was an Indian chief and it took months to get the deal done. Um, it's not an Indian chief. If it was an Indian chief, I maybe wouldn't have bought it. I don't know. Um, but this is it. I got an engine for this and I got a ton of parts and we're just gonna put it together. It's just gonna be a fun, funky bike. It's not gonna be like a super serious race bike or anything. It's gonna be a fun bike to rip around on at meets and uh, rip around the farm. We're gonna hit the parts stash, see what we got. Put this on the lift, let's go. Be nice if I can do this without dropping this bike and messing it all up, but you know, it's okay. All right, she's on the lift. I gotta say this from the jump. If anybody has seen this specific motorcycle before, my other race bike video, many people had known the guy and known the bike. Same thing. If anyone has seen this specific bike before, please reach out. Please send me an email. Or if you just have an opinion of what you think this bike is, leave me a comment. Let me know because I'm not an expert in this stuff, but I will say within my research of XLRs, everybody says something different. Multiple different guys that were there riding, racing these bikes will all say something different. This is a plain frame. It's not an R part number frame. I've heard some people say XLR TT had a normal frame. And then some people say no race bike came without an XLR frame or without an R part number frame. This is a plain Jane frame, peg mounts, side stand, and coil mounts, which is pretty weird. Either way, it's original paint. Like, I'm pumped on this. I'm gonna build something cool with this. So, if you know this bike, please email me. Let's go out in the container, hit the stash. All right, just like my building, my container is a total mess. But, we got an iron head engine. And we got some parts. Got a nice oil tank. Got some exhaust pipes I found. What else we got? Oh, we got two oil tanks. Got some more goodies. Let's see what we got for an engine. I don't remember what year it is. Yes, 62. All right. I don't care what year it is. I'll build it either way, but nice to have a 62. Oh, what? Oil tank goes to what? I think this one over here. Let's do it. All right, bear with me. All right, here's the bounty. Engine, melt crate of parts. Ooh, got the right cam cover, the wrong kicker cover. You know, they put the shotgun shells in there just to keep it fresh. We don't mind that. This is the rest of the bounty. This bad boy I found. I got a hub somewhere and spokes. Ooh. Perfect. Forgot I had another set of speedsters. 
our part number, thin pipes, got the mounts on them, that's nice. Our nice oil tank, no idea if it's the right year or not, but good enough for me. Hopefully this is short. I got another box of parts for this somewhere that I gotta find, because I have a hub, spokes, and a couple other pieces, but this is a pretty good start. Gonna get this stuff in, start hitting it. Wheels done, or wheels laced, just needs to be trued now. Original spokes, 18 rim. Gonna match the front. Had a steel with a drag slick on it when I got the bike. I always wanted to put one of these on, just so it matched nice. Now we're gonna wrestle this motor, tear into this, and pull the cylinders. Go from there, I know I need to switch the kicker cover, and then I'll go through everything in the drive line too. We'll see, we'll see what we have to do. Um, it's gonna have to be pretty bad for me to, <laughs> to, to actually split the cases on this. Um, so we'll see what we got. All right, cylinder bolts are off. Cylinder nuts are off, let's see what we got. For everybody that's gonna chime in and talk about how much of a crap mechanic I am for taking this off with the mallet. That's okay. If these were like four fan cylinders for a knucklehead, obviously you wouldn't do this, but these clapped out cylinders, who cares? And we're not gonna gorilla it either. A little more scoring on this one. <laughs> Cylinder's not bad. Oh, ho, ho. I'm fine with this. For this bike, this is fine. The oil is not that bad. Awesome. We got it all apart. From the jump, I found this thing on the ground at the Keen Swap Meet. Unknown condition, top end in a melt crate. Welded right here, welded on the bottom, but it's a matching belly 62, that's what I needed for this bike. If I can upgrade to a ball bearing motor later, I will, but right now we're not gonna break the bank going crazy. This all came together very naturally over the course of many years, but it did naturally. And uh, I'm really pumped. The front has some back and forth, no up and down in the rear. Really nice, really tight. A little scoring, 50 over. This is gonna work great for what I'm doing. I can, I really don't have to do too much more to this engine. It's really mostly just assembly work. Everything over here looks good. The clutch looks good. Everything looks nice. Maybe we'll have to go through it, but right now everything looks really nice. Cylinders, get this carnage. We got our wheel. Laced up, true this tomorrow. I need to make an arbor for this thing, so kind of gave up on that for the night, but I think we made pretty good progress. We'll see. Maybe we can get this thing a roller pretty soon. Get this in there. Not bad, I'm happy. Long overdue.